It's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kirk. Welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel. And today we are checking out the new video single from the band Before the Sirens uh, from Hertfordshire based. And this song is called Pull the Pin. It came out a couple of days ago. We've been under strict uh, instructions not to watch it. Did you manage to stick to the instructions and not watch the video? I did. I know it's a double A side. Did you do the video? I did do the video, so I have seen We're going to be ultra critical of this. Yes. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so there we go. We have Fall of the Sirens and Paul. Uh, Andy, over to you. I'm going last on this one because, yeah, <laughs> well, obviously why I'm going last, but Andy, your thoughts on it? Um, big fan of this band. I think they're, they're excellent. I mean, this is just sort of typical before the Sirens, if I'm completely honest. It could fit in very easily with the, uh, the last EP or any track sort of released before that. So it's not a, a sort of progression in sort of songwriting, but it's just a really good track. Um, 
good to see some sort of more aggressive vocals from Alan uh, mm -hmm. at sort of parts of the song. Um, I think I was speaking to, to, to the other guitarist, Chris, at um, the 6-6 bar recently, and he, he, sort of, he, he sort of mentioned they, they often have this sort of discussion about if, you know, if, if Alan done aggressive vocals all the way through, you know, they'd, they'd be, they'd have more, more of an appeal. You know, I think they've had a discussion within the band about that. So whether they've sort of taken that on board and trying to introduce it slowly, I don't know. I mean, I, I think Alan's vocals are, are, are excellent. And yeah. both, you know, in general, the clean ones that he does in majority of the songs or majority of the songs and, and the, the aggressive parts in this one. So, um, yes, yeah, so I really like, really like the song. Video is something I'd be really happy with as, as someone in the band and, and looking to do videos in the future. It's, you know, the sort of, the, what do you call it, the black room with the... the yeah, uh, just to clear... Is it these video. lights here, by the way, that uh, No, the, that? the lights that you... No, they're not the ones you... See, they were, they're my ones. We use these for backlighting of the uh, drums. So when you see the drummer, because he's so far away from the front light and the right. rest of the guys, I had to use these lights behind the oh, amps okay. to uplight him. But the oh, ones right. at the back are a similar, they're the same company. Okay. They're just slightly larger ones at the yeah, back. Yeah, so I mean, I like the look of the video. For for somebody who's, who's not a fan of the band, I'm not sure it's got a huge amount of repeat viewing value. I mean, we've talked about that before when we've done reaction videos, but mm -hmm. uh, as a video, I uh, and someone who's in the band, I'd be very happy with, with that. Um, one thing I did pick up on, on, from a video point of view, and this goes back to when I first started Listen to Metal, when I got uh, <coughs> a cassette with Iron Maiden's first promotional videos, Run to the Hills, I think it was, or One Number of the Beats, one of those. When Bruce Dickinson finishes his line and it breaks like the solos, he's, he's exhaling this huge long note, but the microphone's away from his mouth and he walks off, but the note's still going. Yeah. There, there was a bit of that, Dave, <laughs> just before the, the middle eight of this section. Alan's belting out a, a note, and he's away from the mic and head down or whatever. So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the only criticism regarding that point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, love the band, love the song. Like, look at the video as well. Can't be critical at all because it's it's very much like what before the times were produced before. And obviously, I love their stuff. So looking forward to hearing that one live. So I don't think I have. I don't recognise it. No, that was not good. Brand new track. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. yeah, I'll start with the song. Which to me, we were just saying off camera. Uh, I was saying I, I see this this group as a rock band really aimed at a metal audience, and that, that's always a good thing. Because I, I, even though we're called ADK Rock and Metal, how much rock music do we analyze? Mm. And this is perfect for me. And if anyone wants to study the craft of songwriting and how you can put that in a heavy format with a chorus, this is the band to go to. Uh, Rick Hunter Burns from the band Night Thieves. I know that he would like this music. I know he's a viewer of this channel as well. And I think they'd be a great band to do a joint headlining tour or certainly some shows together because he approaches rock music the same as well as, as Alan does here. The chorus was a bit too predictable for me, but Alan's voice is quite unique, isn't it? And it, when you've got a voice as strong as that, it makes sense to anchor the song around that. Every new song I, I hear by these, they get a bit more technical and even heavier. We know that they're a big fan of breakdowns on <laughs> this band. That, that's, that's why they write music, to be honest, it seems. Um, but here, not quite at the same standard as Low, track number one on the last EP, which is a phenomenal song. And I thought the chorus had hints of Under Darkened Skies, which was the last track on the last EP. Yeah. Didn't quite hit those heights either. But in no way am I disappointed by that. I really like that guitar fill, you know, in between the syncopation. <laughs> Pentatonic. And quite an interesting middle eight. We know we're not going to get a guitar solo. You don't need that. And they took it in a bit of a thrash metal direction, didn't they? Or early 2000s metalcore. I think these are one of those bands that they're so good at what they do. And we know that they've all been friends from, I think, secondary school. And they're in the, their 30s now. And you can tell that certainly with the guitar, bass and vocals. And just a shout out to the drummer as well. Excellent <coughs> performance. He makes it look so yeah. easy, especially coming in and replacing Luke, who is a drum virtuoso and a drum teacher. He's been and, in there for quite a while now, Alex. Yeah. It's been and like a, he's, two years. And you were saying in the video as well, he um, probably missing the Britney Spears microphone to do the back <laughs> no, of vocals, okay. but I thought he was an excellent performer in that. Yeah. In terms of the video, I'd be happy with that as well. It reminds me of that Chimera video from 2005. We covered it on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Oh, don't, don't ask. Yeah. Me. yeah. 
Yeah, that's it. I think yeah. with it, did they go for that? Is that what they were aiming for? They, they gave me a few different videos that they were looking at. It wasn't particularly Chimera, but that's the vibe that they had sent me, which was performing with uh, lights in the background in yeah. a black room. So that which was we know kind of, it, they set their, they set their stall out of what they asked for. That and, is a cliche. We know that. I'm, I'd be happy with this. I think it would have repeat listening value because me, I'm just in it for the riffs, and there's actually some really interesting vocal lines in there as well. So they're giving me a lot of what I like in uh, in modern guitar music. Um, but yeah, what what was the what idea did you have for this? If you don't mind me asking. So you know, the, the the video. So this was a really interesting concept for having done. I mean, I'll, I'll say before I answer about the video, I'll just say give my thoughts on the song anyway. Just to, yeah, yeah, just sure, yeah. Uh, so when I got sent the song a couple of months ago to as a preview to obviously plan out the video, as soon as I heard it, I'm like, well, this just sounds exactly what you expect from Before the Sirens. Uh, and although we sort of say that they don't sound like other bands, they do sound like themselves, and every song has a very lot of similarities. And Low is a good example of the vibe. Uh, that This song has got a similar sort of vibe, but you almost expect the choruses. We knew there was going to be a big harmonised chorus, what was really interesting for me was when we went into this music video and I, I planned out the video. We did a video call with uh, Chris and Alan to discuss it. Just so I, 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 what I said is I didn't want to get too far down the rabbit hole of my ideas, turn up on the day and then they're like, no, 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 that's not what we want because then I'll be really disappointed because I'll have fought every <laughs> plan through. So we did this whole planning and then on the day I got there and I'm like, right, what I want to do is my first thought on this, which was, we, we didn't do it because obviously it wasn't actually what was happening was um, I wanted one microphone with Alan, but I wanted I wanted Adam to come over and join him on the microphone for the chorus. Because I was like, rather than being your own, because I said one of the biggest things for me about the band was um, what is the character of the band? I said, so we see you on stage and you're in your own pockets. And I said, you, you perform your songs, but we don't need any of your own personality coming across. So I really wanted to get personality in this song. That was my biggest... Rather than a division of labor. Yeah, and yeah. so my first thought was like, well, Adam, I want you to come across and sing the choruses with Alan. Only to find out that Adam actually doesn't sing the harmonies. So they're all harmonized by Alan on the, on the album. They haven't decided how they're doing that live, whether it'll just be single vocals or mm. Adam will do his vocals. So of course I couldn't then ask Adam to come across and do a joint vocal performance. Were you hoping it was going to be like an Aerosmith, Joe Perry, yeah, Stephen come Tyler, back I wanted to back. just to wander over. And I wanted to see that chemistry of these guys okay. bonding, which we couldn't actually get because it didn't make sense from the singing point of view because Adam didn't really do the vocals. So that's why we then put in, with my heart and soul, I got all four of them to sing that line during yeah, the chorus okay, and then sense. I cut the camera with my heart and soul. And that's kind yeah. of how we came up with that Quite bit there. Um, I knew that over the thundering drum part and the breakdown, I wanted flashing lights. I wanted to strobe it to break up the midsection from the rest of the song. And then because it was talking about anger, when it switches to anger, I wanted it to go red. Yeah, so I had the red light, light yeah. fit, fit. I so didn't actually that. notice that because I was analyzing the music. I didn't really. So when you break down the structure, so it, but what was, I think what was really interesting and it's still something when, when I did my first edit, I did two edits very quickly on this video. Uh, I did one edit, which was just all the, all the scenes cut with no filtering, no effects and nothing on it. And she sent that and I did one with some cinematic filters on it. I made it feel a little bit more, I made it a little bit bluer. I made it almost like a spine shanky early 2000s, very kind of crystal uh, technological vibe filter over the top. Not like graphically, mm -hmm. but it just had this tint to the to the screen. And the, straight away, the first thing I got back from the band was, we, we like the clean version. We just like it crisp, clean, nothing on it. And I'm like, uh, okay, that's gonna be a challenge then from a rewatch point of view, because there's you've literally just got you playing. And this is going to make it a bit of a challenge. In a room with lights and a with dark some room. lights. So I'm like, yeah. well, I'm going to have to tint it a little bit because of the lights. Otherwise, we're going to see too many. And so I did some work on the color correction. And then I think the next filter, I, next version I sent to them, I had some additional tripping. I had, I think, to break up the tempo when it got to that first riff uh, before the court verse kicks in, I put it as a low frame rate. So they kind of all jolted around, and then when yeah. I kicked in a weight, they went back up to normal tempo. I like that effect. Yeah. I had like some light when he was singing over the chorus. There were some lighting effects over the top of them to kind of break it up and give you a bit more. And all of those got chopped and cut 
So that vocal was like, yeah, we like it. We just take all of that stuff off. And I'm like, and what, what, what it suddenly occurred to me, and I was sitting there going, I'm, I'm just really struggling here to get what these guys are after and that I'm happy with. And then I realized what it was. I was trying to force my personality onto the video. And I said, it was all about this band. It was about their personality and their character. And I was trying to put my character and my personality Your perspective into, and how into you music. See them. So this is what I, yeah. and so when you started seeing all these weird effects and flashes, that's what I'm like, and that's yeah. how I approach it. Yeah. So yes, it's my personality, but I'm not before the sirens. And that was one of the biggest challenges I suddenly realized doing this music video was when you're going into it, you're, it's not your video, mm -hmm. you're doing something for a client. So I had to sit down and go, right, so, and actually when you think about the guys before the sirens, they're quite straight edge, performance band, hard rock, they're not, like, they're not like the big extravagant with like big, you know, like, like yeah. when you talk about bands like let's say Bell or Fog or Burdensome, where they're kind of, they've got some characters there, big right? characters. Yeah. yeah. So that made sense for this video from a performance point of view, it's straight to the point. And actually that made a lot of sense. That's why they went down that vibe. Um, but I had to take a step back. So all we did in the end, I think the only thing we did on that one was we stripped a lot of stuff out. We added a filter on just to take some of the soft, to, to lighten up some of the edges. Um, and I think that is all we really did with the video on that one. Do you know, I would have liked to have seen that low frame rate effect. Now you've described it, it reminds me, Periphery use it in the video for a song called Make Total Destroy, yeah. leading up to a really heavy riff. And it, it works superbly. And that, that I can see why you would want to do that. Just to break the chorus the sections. release. Yeah, So exactly. the way the chorus kicks in, it fills its back up to normal speed. I also did a 1998 MTV2 version where I've made it look like a video from MTV2. Back so, in the day. so this will look like, uh, yeah, like you say, spine shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. grainy. Yeah. Pur everything's purplish and it's yeah. all yeah, digital and like a fear factory video and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, I had a lot of fun with doing some alternative versions of the, of the video, but. Um, I was happy with the end result of it. Um, I'm happy that the guys, it, I do still feel that the challenge here is rewatch value. But I think from a first impression of the band, from a performance point of view, you get a good idea of it. Um, yeah, if they, hire you, have, if they hire you again, you can probably say, all right, shall we try to challenge the perception of the band on the next project? Well, I think a lot of what's been said from when I was chatting to some of the guys afterwards, they were like, they, they want to go down a uh, storytelling route on the next video. Mm, okay. But this is the one thing. So based on the, the CD title, Pull the Pin, the, the sleeve art that they've put for their single shows a nuclear bomb going off and grenades and stuff. It's got nothing to do with the lyrics at all. It doesn't need to be. It can be no, metaphorical. No, no. Hang on, but uh, when I spoke, to, I remember I spoke to Alex about this. Alex on drums, and he was like, "I've got this great idea for the video. What if we have like a nuclear bomb's gone off, and then you pan out from the nuclear bomb, and then we're in the studio?" And I'm like, "It'd look cool. It's got nothing to do with the freaking song." <laughs> Are you and not thinking, like, no. how the hell do I impose that effect? On well, I can do it. I, no, the thing is, I can do it. But then this is this was my big thing. Is like when you look at the lyrics, the pull the pin is about a destructive relationship. And actually, if you look at listen to a lot of before the sirens topics, they're all about relationships. Yeah. So I don't get. And this is my. I mean, of course, you don't want to have an album cover that says "Pull the Pin," where it's him about like leaving his wife or getting out of a bad relationship. Your first, your first thoughts are a grenade, aren't you? Yeah. And that is either, pulling is the pin of destroying the relationship. So I actually got all the lyrics sent to me so that I could actually go through it and go, hang on, I need to understand. And it's all about, wait, you want something more. And it's all like, it is about a destructive relationship. So I, I could have happily, I think my next thought before this was to take it down and cut in some relationship breakups about it and doing some footage that way and cutting that story into it because I thought that would make it more powerful. But I do think having a, a, a CD... Spotify thing with a grenade and, and nuclear bombs. And we asked, that's, was it Lights Out was the other one we did? And it was all yeah. cut to footage. Yeah. And we were like, but it's got nothing to do with what the song's about. <laughs> Looked good, but yeah. Look good. Good. You did and a I good job on that. We're in the same problem here, which is, I think if you're going to go down that route and you're going to have nuclear weapons and destructions and prolification of nuclear war and all that sort of stuff at end of times, but your songs are about personal relationships, you're going to get this really mixed message. But that's that's the band, which is really stupid of me to say, but it's only recently occurred to me that the sirens refer to early warning sirens yeah. of a nuclear attack. That never just, it's just the name of the band that I've yeah. been following for the last 
three or four years or however long it's been. It's but all about. I've never made the connection the between period leading up to the crisis. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? it's like they're anticipating a future crisis. But they never write about. Songs. But they never write about political anything political. If I thought sirens, it would be Air like the, yeah. those. Um, no, the. Mythical creatures who sit on rocks. Oh, okay. Okay. That's I'd, I'd be thinking of air raid sirens. Yeah. Well, this is, this is the difference, isn't it? See, I never made that connection. This has become more <laughs> apparent from, as you said, this see this single uh, sort of cover, and also the the, the video for um, lights out. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's that's my only thing with them is about great songs, really interesting videos. But they they feel like they're in different directions. Yeah. Song title and what they're actually singing about is they just need to unify that to make it a little bit more cohesive. I just want them overall. But I overall, want, I love the song. I, I want to band. see them play on the same bill with Night Thieves. I think that's a band that are in a yeah. similar paradigm. Um, Maybe we should contact them and say, can they do your next video? <laughs> never know. Just, we yeah, just, just network, not even networking. We're just, uh, we're just bribing. Pitching, yeah. yeah pitching pitch to bands. Ideas. Let Dave do your next video. Anyway, there we go. Before the silence and pull the pin. Now, if you enjoyed our video today, please do like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you in another video sometime very soon. Take care.